guys, I have a really special treat today. And standing right here, it's Chef John Besh with his new cookbook, Cooking from the Heart, My Favorite Lessons Learned Along the Way. And it's all about his journey as a chef. He's from Louisiana. He's the chef of nine restaurants, the author of three books, the host of a TV show, everything. He's the full package, guys. He's an amazing, amazing guy. Keep talking. And he's here to show us how to make moule provençal. You just can't foul up a muscle. I just absolutely love cooking them, love yes. eating them. There's a process there that brings back so many great memories of yeah. being in Provence and cooking with just ordinary people in the backyard. It's so easy, very inexpensive, and so delicious. Let's start okay. cooking. All right, I'm going to turn it on. So you tell me, what am I doing with these garlics? All right, so this, just take, a, take mm -hmm. your garlic, and I like just to slice it. I'm slicing just them. As thin as you can. Okay, I can slice really thinly. I don't know if John knows that. Oh, look at that. You're such yeah. a good slicer. Oh, I'm such a good Good slicer, and I can look at the camera while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So four large cloves of garlic, sliced very thinly. John sliced four scallions, yeah, maybe. Just a handful of scallions. Okay. All right. So garlic, fennel, fennel fronds, though. So I yeah. love to throw the fronds in. That slight anise flavor just brings out the sweetness that naturally occurs in the mussels. And it's a great way to use everything that you have. I use this a lot of times as a substitute for like just a little bit of tarragon. So. Oh, yeah, you know, tarragon can be kind of overwhelming, and the fennel isn't, and plus it's free when you buy your fennel bulb. Is that I good? I love that. I love the free. It's free. Cover the bottom of the mm -hmm. pot with olive oil. It's not that important to measure all this Half out. Half a teaspoon of olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also watching so that when it heats up, it starts just to waft just a little bit, and it's ready to go. It's wafting. John used my favorite <laughs> word. He said wafting. I say waftability. All right, now add your garlic. Right. Let's just sweat this garlic a little bit. Into the pan, garlic. One of those like chefy terms that I kind of love and I kind of hate, like the sweat the, sweat the garlic. Sweat the aromatics. Sweat. So it's really all about intensifying the flavors and it's mm -hmm. like these green onions, they have like this sweetening effect right. on everything else. John has a bunch of mussels. And so obviously they're all clean. Because we do that ahead of time here. This is so nice. Just chop these tomatoes. You can just rough chop and rough chop. chop. These are mostly road culture these yep. days, so you don't have a lot of sand. You can get wild ones, and they'll still need to really be clean. So every now and then, I just want to test them, make sure. So this was slightly open, and then he's closing up, or she actually. How can you tell? Well, is there a She has way? an attitude. <laughs> Ah, sassy. <laughs> I feel like we've been monitoring the heat so that it doesn't burn, but I bet we can turn it up now. So, medium high heat. The vegetables mm -hmm. are nice and soft already. We've added the tomatoes. We'll just cook those for a moment. I'm Eight. adding just a salt. touch of salt. I always add salt at every stage. I add it with my aromatics. I add it when I add my meat. By the way, I just I added, added some chili. Egg. You hear it? I mean, the pot's just like right now at this point calling for just a little vermouth. It is. Do you hear it? Vermouth over white wine wine. Vermouth has just the sweetness when it reduces down mm -hmm. that I think works perfect with both the fennel and the mussels. What do you have against vermouth? Nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> I love it. I just want that to come to a boil and take some time. Okay. Take a little bit of time. If you want, you can just drop it in. You smell that. That's I that time it. when it hits. It's like it like went like that. So at this I'm point, we cook the alcohol out. Mm -hmm. And what you have is this like really intense, sweet spicy broth that we use to steam the mussels. You ready? Yes, I am. All right. In they go. That's like, what, three I or four pounds? I love the fact that they're all clean, de and all that good That's stuff. what we do here. Whoa. So we cover this? Let's give it a good stir, if you okay. don't mind. We just kind of want to fold just to make sure that I'm not to be bossy, because generally I'm cooking by myself, and I'm yeah. the cooks or other chefs are like standing back here, not like somebody else stirring <laughs> my pie. I know, I'm like totally I love the stepping on your pie. toes. Oh. Put a lid on it. I will. So we cover it up so that the mussels will steam. And they take like probably five minutes, right? If that. And it's just going to melt perfectly into like what I call the perfect bite. You see how they're starting they're to open opening. just like that? Now I just want to add some rough chopped parsley. Parsley. And like good parsley will add flavor. It's just not like, oh, it looks good. Delicious. It's a bitter that adds just another dimension. There's one more note to this. It's basil note, which, as you guys know, is one of my favorite and highly waftable. You can use that word. I'm going to share it with you. I invented it. All right, sister, basil we're just going to dump it in. I'm excited. I think they're like basically almost everyone is open. If some of them don't open at this point, they're probably dead. So don't if eat they them. They don't open, discard them. And there will be a couple that just don't. It happens, and that's right? okay. Don't Look be afraid. What I love. 
John's gonna show us. I love using these as a means. Yeah. I'm reading my muscles. I'm gonna do it Holy too. smokes, those are good. You are fantastic. Oh, you're so lovely. This is really fun, really delicious. We're gonna eat out of the pot. We could serve ourselves. I'm gonna show you because there's broth in there. And the broth is like half of what you came for. You wanna sop the broth up with some delicious bread. You don't mind if I see a little bread. Take yeah. that, please. This is for you. No way, I'm getting down here to the broth. Oh, he's going in the pot. <laughs> Chefs don't like to use bowls. They don't like to use forks or knives. They oh, like yeah. to eat with their hands and they like to eat right out of the pot. I'm not great Am I right? Thank you so much. Mm. What do you think? What does it need? I don't think it needs anything. Tell them how great it is. It's so good, it doesn't need anything. Follow the recipes in John's book and you are gonna be happy. Start with this one. Thanks, I love John. how you're digging into the pot too. Oh, I mean, what else is there to do? Chef John Besh, oh wait. This is his book, go out and get it. I love it, I love John, you're gonna love John. Get his book. Yum, perfect breakfast too. I was hungry. We've offered food to you. Oh, what's up? So you were way too nervous. Well, I saw you. <laughs> I don't know. It's intimidating, it's true. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.